Hey guys, Mike Brandenstein with the Worship Base Workshop doing another tutorial for Jelly Notes. Today we're going way back with Twist and Shout by the Beatles. Go on, get your bass, come on back, and let's do this. Okay, it's Twist and Shout. So this is going to be a great song for you to learn to improvise on. And once you get some of these little changes and how Paul McCartney bounced around through these chords here, you kind of start to see these patterns and you could start interchanging them. So it's kind of cool. Let's start off with the intro, which is a lead. It's got like three lead in notes, which really precede the downbeat or precede the one. Okay. So you'll see what I mean. So we're going to count this off with one and two and three. All right. The one, the notes we're using here, first of all, this is all the third string, which is our A string. And then we're going to start off with an open A, then a second fret, fourth fret, and then the fifth fret. Okay? So open, second, fourth, fifth. And the way we're going to count this off, we're going to count it with eighth notes. We count eighth notes one and two and three and four. And here's how we're going to do it. We're going to end, we're going to start this on the open A. We're going to do that on the and after three. Watch this. It's tricky. One and two and three and. All right, got it? So we count it out loud. One and two and three and four and one. Next measure. Okay, so this is where the next measure starts. We're on the fifth fret of that third string. And then we go to the fourth fret of the D string or the second string. And then we come back to the third string, fifth fret. And then we go to the fifth fret. D string or second string, fourth fret, first string, and then four and fifth fret, D string or second string, and then we go to the seventh fret of that second string. So it sounds like this. If we put the two measures together, we go one and two and three and okay, that's the first part. And then we play this seventh fret. We uh, so we go one and two and three and four and one. Okay. So to do that a little quicker. Now, when you're going from this seventh fret of the D string in the third measure here, you got the seventh fret from of the second string, and you're hitting that, and then you they have you descending down to the fifth fret, to the fourth fret, to the second fret, and then jumping up to the fifth fret of the third string. I'm going to give you a little tip, okay? Uh, this is why you watch these Jelly Note videos, right? For these tips, okay? Because this is going to help you stay in the same position for this song. And that is going from the seventh fret and then to the fifth fret, the fourth fret, all in the D string on the second string. And then instead of going down to the second fret of the second string, go to the uh, seventh fret of the third string. Okay. So instead of the second fret of the second string, go to the seventh fret of the third string. Same note. It's a, it's an E note. See that? So, and then you go to the fifth fret of your third string, which is a D, okay? So it's, it's those little things that will help you to stay in the same position. And it, this song was probably played in that position as it is. So there was probably, because you can stay in this position and play through the entire song and really help you to, to just not have to look, okay? All right. So the next one is this little move here when we go to All right, so that's a 6th and 7th measure. And here we go. And then we hit this octave. That's an A, which is the 5th fret of the 4th string. And then we go so four on the third string, four, five, uh, I'm sorry, four, seven, 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 
five, seven, and then five, okay? Now repeat that. Okay, now let's, uh, let's move on to the bridge. Okay, now the bridge, there's not a whole lot different going on. There's not a whole lot of different things going on in the bridge. But you have this uh, guitar lick that's happening. Chords are pretty much the same, so you can still use the same notes, and, but it just chops up a little bit. And so here's how this is going to go. We're in measures 38 and 39. We're just going to look at those two right now. And it starts off, once again, with this D note, which is the fifth fret of the third string. Okay. You should be familiar with that riff already. But the way this goes now, when you hit this seventh fret of the second string, we do these two octaves. And then we do two fifth frets of the D string. And then two fourth frets of the D string, okay? Note-wise, that those octaves are A's on the seventh fret of the, of the D string or second string, fifth fret of the fourth string, both octave A's. Okay, so the way this will sound, these two measures will be like this. All right, now we go into the measure that'd be 40, 40 and 41, and we start off with four. D notes, which is the 5th fret, 3rd string. Alright, and we do that again. And then we hit two low A's. So we're going to go... 1, 2, 3, 4. So we got four D's there. Two A's, two low A's. And then we go... 4th fret A string, 4th fret 3rd string, 7th fret 3rd string, and then we go 7th fret 2nd string, 5th fret, 4th fret, and tab say go 2, I say take it to the 7th fret on the 3rd string. Once again, you're going to stay in that position. It'll sound like this. I'm sorry. That's what it is. All right, so you got this seven, five, four, two. All right, so you got, let's do that again. Measures 40 and 41. Much shorter trip than if you go like this. See all the jumping around your arms got to do? It's much easier if you can stay in that position. Okay, that's the bridge. There's a little bit more, but you can figure that out as you look at the notes. The last thing I want to talk about is, well, there's this one part on the bridge on the tabs. There's a lot of different numbers going on there on the tabs, and really what's happening is, is the bass is just riding on that 7th fret of the D string. And kind of going with the rhythm. You can use one one finger on your on your uh, right hand, and that pretty much rides into the last verse there. Okay, so or the next verse. Now you cannot finish a song without the big ending. So here you go. We do we do this little bridge part again, and we're riding on the A, that seventh fret of the second string. Okay, and then we are hitting the. 5th fret of the 4th string, and we're just going to go chromatic. And that's the notes there are A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, and then end it on the 5th fret. The very note you started with. Full circle. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Well, until next time, this is Mike Brandenstein for the way, way, from the Worship Base Workshop for Jelly Note, reminding you, please subscribe to this channel. Download the Jelly Note app. Really, it's got all the tab sheet music and chord charts you need, plus videos, tutorials. It's pretty amazing. Download it, check it out, enjoy it, use it. Until next time, this is Mike Brandenstein, and I will see you again. <laughs>